cousin ill. Let's get it poppin' the ghetto Miss Poppins. Cut, 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 cousin ill. It's red carpets wherever she wants. If you got a problem, she'll fix it. No problems, too big it's. Cut, 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 cousin ill. Cut, 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 cousin ill. Hello again, and welcome back to the Cousin M Way. I had the privilege of speaking about respect to a room full of young minds. My main motto I live by is through hard work, respect is gained. Mm. You're gonna have to forgive me and excuse me. Just bring back memories about that one time Tommy Walker pinged me up under the bleachers and gave me a little consensual disrespect, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Oh, I got a little carried away. I'm sorry about that. Let's just start the show, shall we? So we're experiencing friction within our school. These students in particular are fifth graders, around 10 years old, somewhere from the inner cities. And they need volunteers. Oh. Are you all right, Mr. Carey? Your eye doing that weird eye flickering thing. Yes, I'm fine. Sorry about that. These students are quite a handful. Follow me. They don't seem that bad to me, Mr. Carey. You see? Let's move away from the window. All right. Let me tell you something. You don't have to worry about me or these kids. Once Cousin Am gets a hold of these little badass bastards, all will be well. Good luck. I don't need no damn luck. These kids gonna be the ones who need some fucking luck. <laughs> Children! Excuse me, children! Children! Sit your little bad asses down, just like you were when you knew I was watching through the window. Now let's try this again, shall we? <clears throat> little girl, did you not hear what I said? Yeah, I heard you, old hag. Ain't nobody gotta listen to you, substitute teacher wannabe. Look here, Tinkerbell! You better be glad these cameras are rolling in here or else I would- Or else what? You ain't finna do nothing. You got until the count of one- One, two, three, and what nothing. I'm still right here. Oh, oh, I see. So you don't want to sit down, huh? Okay, that's fine. Candace? Now, moving on. It is clear to me that I am here today to teach more than English 101. Now let's start with a word with a big meaning called respect. Spell it with me. R E S P R E S P. Oh God, these poor babies can't even spell. Quiet. Respect is not only something that gets you in the door, but it keeps you in the door. Without respect, you could just be left standing there like a lonely doormat. Like someone we know here, okay? Respect comes from hard work, and with hard work, you gain the respect from others. Now today, I want to share a film with you about respect, not only for other people, but for yourself. Self-respect. Now, these aren't my words. These are from the great, fine, tall, and dark, and handsome Billy D. Williams. Without further ado, I give to you, babies, mahogany. Mm, with your fine ass. Now, from success comes what? Hard work. Yes, that is correct. Now, class, what are some things that you all aspire to be? A firefighter. A doctor! A paleontologist! A real estate agent! A rapper! A professional dancer! I would be a basketball player! Woo! Ah. 
by the bell. Literally. You're kind, Mr. Gary. You're the Thanks. best, Mr. Harry. That was awesome! <laughs> Got it, Mr. Gary. Okay. Thanks, Mr. Gary. Once I want to be just like you, boy. All right. It was good, Mr. Gary. Hmm. Oh, now this little bitch won't cry. Maya? Maya, what is it, baby? It's just the movie Men Holly was my mom's favorite movie. She died of breast cancer a few months back. Oh, no, I'm so sorry to hear that. I'm so it's fine. Uh, I just need to. Uh, oh, no, don't do that. Don't you dare hold in those tears. It's okay to feel sad. It's okay to be touched by a moment that reminds you of your mama. Uh, my mom used to like Billy G, too. Yeah, it, well, it sounds like she had good taste. Yeah, she did. Ever since she died, my dad's just been stuck in a negative bubble, constantly telling me I'll never amount to anything. Hold on for just a moment, baby. Damn, Candace! Don't you see this poor little girl's having a hard to heart moment and you going around being rude with that noise? Chell, it's just too much. <sighs> Go ahead and continue, baby. And he was never like that before she died. Are you getting this? Cause this is the part where I fix shit. Well, everything's gonna be okay, Lollipop. Don't you worry, okay? Thank you for coming today. This is the first time I really allowed myself to think of my mom and feel good afterwards. Aww. I'm sorry for not showing you respect when you first walked in. Oh, well, thank you for owning up to that and giving me respect. I'm glad to be able to get through to you kids. You know what? Mahogany works for any occasion. Mm hmm What did you do? Hmm? I mean, you have these students running out of here motivated and ready for success. Uh-huh. At this very moment, I think my Twitch might be gone. What? One of the students even walked out of here singing a song to Mahogany. Mahogany! Yes, yeah, such a classic ain't it, Mr. Truly Gary. a phenomenal movie. That's right. A uh -huh. work of art. Mm-hmm. Mm. How'd you do that? Oh, you know, Cousin M Magic. Mr. Carey? Mm-hmm. Mr. Carey, is your wife a sister or a mister? <laughs> a forest hunch. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I see you, Mr. Stop Carey. Stop it! I see you, Mr. Carey. Oh, yeah. <laughs> This isn't the way we came in, right? Right? Look, I'm gonna be straightforward with you. I need you. Excuse you? Please accept a position here at the school. I'll give you my salary. Oh, I get it. No, with all respect to you, I was meant to teach a few things, but this shit ain't it. Mm -mm. I understand. I understand. Will you at least just peek in on my high school students and maybe give me some ideas on how to get through to them? I think my Twitch is back. Child, I'm not sure Mr. Carey's gonna make it. Sorry to that man. Xavier, hit it. Stop, that's when she coming in. Yeah. No problems on the job when she clocked in. Nope. Who you talking about? 